Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, you are here down at the couch, right? We are with a blonde babe that's taken Belmore by absolute surprise. Fan favourite of everyone, you know what I mean? Player of the year, in, in my eyes, rookie of the year. Just a bloke that we love already. Robbed. R robbed is Tanaka, great call. Mr. Jacob Preston. <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome. Thanks, man. Thanks for having me on. <laughs> Bro, listen, I know you're not from... Western, oh, I know you're not from Liverpool areas, so it was a bit of a trick for you to get down here. That's all right. It's not too bad. How long was it? <laughs> oh, an hour 20 probably. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. Ah, it's all good. That's all, all right. Good. Anyway, as we always <laughs> like to start, we like to start off with some Lebanese sweets. Everyone yep. needs to get fat. I know it's off season. Yep. I know good. Seraldo's going to have you. Like, very soon he's going to grab your boys, get you onto training and stuff. So before we get started, you've got to enjoy your off season. Here's some Lebo sweets. We're going to have a little taste test before anything happens. As you know, you're around a lot of Lebos now. You know, we love our stomach. It's like the most important thing <laughs> in the world, bro. So, Mr. Mo, give it a try. What's this? Give it to him first. Oh, I'll give it to Preston first. I don't know how to describe it, bro, but it's like cream in pastry and it's yeah. called the Znud. The Znud. Come on. Thanks, bro. <laughs> 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 yeah, good. <laughs> give it to Sui, bro. <laughs> nah, I'm good. I'm good. I've had enough sugar today, bro. Yeah, I'm. I'm... That's mad. Yeah. Come on, bro. Give me your honest opinion. <laughs> no, that's actually nice. I don't mind that. It's good. It's like light but heavy. Mm. Yeah, it's, it's nice. Uh, it's, it's anyway. It's like when we fast. So when we have Ramadan, when we fast, after we think we have dessert, yep. and it's like everyone's just bogged out eating smooth, bro. <laughs> I tried to get the Nutella ones, but they didn't have them. So that's no, good. Thank you. Now nah, you're all right, bro. Sahtan Fred, Sahtan Preston. Do you want to finish it? <laughs> you can't finish it, bro. Oh, I can't finish it. Yeah, finish it. All right. Take your time. Don't stress. The time to enjoy the calories. <laughs> oh, bro, off season, I probably, uh, I don't know how you do diets, bro. I mean, I'm skinny, but far, I love to eat. So, Fred, I don't know, bro. That's <laughs> <So why> not... <laughs> <laughs> nice, eh? Hey? Bro, it's good. Like so, it. It's my favorite thing ever. It's like, since I was bloody young. <laughs> yeah. But the Nutella ones are crazy, What's bro. What's it called again? Znud. Znud. So, Z N O U D. So. Znud, awesome. however you want to say it. Anyway, in Belma, you'll find it anywhere. Mm hmm. Anywhere you look, you'll find it. In English, it's ladyfingers. Yes. Yeah, you're, you, you're yeah, the I'm son of sweets, bro. Like <laughs> this guy's dad's like started the first sweet shop in like 96 or something. 95. <laughs> Man, that's sick. <laughs> it's good, bro. So you're going to give, we have to give a shout out. Ready to go, boys? Ready to rock and rock and roll? Ready? Go. Ready to go. go. Oh, I want to give a big shout out to Mr. Harifa. You can't see him, he's behind the camera. We'll get him on at the end. We'll get you have a little, have a little Q&A with you. A little couple words. But shout out to Harifa and Barber Code, because that's how I know uh, Hare, uh, that's how I met Harifa and that's how we got Mr. Jacob Preston on today. Presto, it's been a big, big season for the Bulldogs. Yeah, mate. A lot of downs, but certainly a lot of ups. You know what I mean? A lot of fans won't look at it that way. A lot of fans will be like negative and yelling. But as a true Bulldog fan, I'm trusting the process and I'm looking at who's in charge and I'm looking at the faces we have. Obviously, the ones that left, left. No bad words to say about them. But I'm looking at the Bulldogs this season and I'm like, I think it's a big learning step. I think it's something that Sometimes you gotta go through it. You gotta clean. You gotta clean it out, and you gotta restart, refresh. I want to hear what you gotta think about the 2023 season, because you're the shining light, bro. You're the you're, you're the one that you Fox Kiraz you just put a smile on our faces all season, bro. Like every time you went out there, you just ran your heart out, and especially you for your debut season. It's crazy, bro. Yeah, thank you, mate. No, I definitely took a lot from this season. So um, I know we didn't get the results on the field, but all the boys were digging in really, like really like a lot of effort every week. So. I know the, the future of the club's in good hands. We're going to be um, next year. I can't wait. Can't bro, wait we're it. just talking about this for like, yeah. <laughs> Jade um, up, bro. So yeah, I know. I know success isn't far away. We're just working, working really hard, and it's going, going to, it's going to come to fruition. Did a breakout like did, did, like throughout the season where you're like, Fuck, like, because obviously you've been in footy, you've been in footy for a while. We'll get to your journey in a bit, but going for, like when you're at the Bulldogs, bro. So already people speak about you know the crazy fan base. A lot of people are speaking about it every single week. Fox News has this absolutely amazing agenda. They love every single week ripping into it. Did you feel like the, was the pressure like on you, or were you just like it's part of the it's part of everything? It's part of the sport. Yeah, no. For me, it's uh, I just guess it's part of the footy. That's just that's what, that's what makes it like the game. It is the fanfare and stuff. And yeah, I know the doggies fans are really passionate. <laughs> but honestly, they're the best fans in the game. So um, yeah, consider myself and a lot, I know all our players, all the other players, consider ourselves extremely lucky to have the best fans in the game. Bro, this, yeah, we're, we're psychos, eh? I, I, can, I can probably count myself in that category, eh, boys? <laughs> Bit of psycho fans, but we're very, very passionate. And, man, like, we, we see... I remember 04 Grand Final. I, like, I still remember what I was wearing, bro. Yeah. So, yeah. like, seeing that, you know what I mean? And then I going see. through two other Grand Finals, I went to one of them. I was there. Heartbreak against Melbourne. 
But and then you say like the club shifting, moving around, players coming in, players coming out, players talking like yeah, you know, and then you just you don't see it on uh, translate to the to the footy field the results. I don't know how how the how you handled the pressure this season. It would have been crazy, but man, I'm just I'm happy you're here. I'm happy you're at Bulldogs, bro. bro. Yeah, I'm fucking I'm it. happy, bro. <laughs> Honestly, no, I, appreciate it, mate. I want to know about your journey. So yep. run me through everything. So young age, you know, teenager. Of you're still very very young, but teenager then going straight into the Bulldogs and just causing chaos in the field. Yeah, so I was, did we start at the beginning, like where I started off? Yeah, like? we're from from the get go, bro. Yeah, so I started. What was that? Yeah, <laughs> <of> that, <laughs> in his nap, he's got a footy <laughs> shit. Slayed in from a young age. Nah, I started off at, at a, uh, the Manly comp, playing um, junior footy out that way for Burroughs Eagles, and then uh, I was at Manly. I played one game of development at Manly. Didn't really get a look in. How old were you at, at this at this point? Oh, that was under fourteens. I played one game of development. Oh, so young, Manly. yeah, and then. Um, from there, I went to North Sydney Bears and played all my junior footy there. So, Howard Mats, SG Ball, and Jersey Flegg at the North Sydney Bears. And then, kind of COVID hit and uh, game the game kind of stopped for a bit. Yeah, it was a bit of a hard time. A bit though, hard, yeah. But um, then I got an opportunity to kind of go to the Roosters and play Flegg after the like, after that. So, right after COVID. Yeah. So, so, was that for like a year or two years would have been? Uh, so, I was there for two years. But the second the second year, I spent a little bit of time with Flegg and then most of the season with uh, the North Sydney Bears in New South Wales Cup. And that's kind of when I got picked up by the dogs. So who? So how does the? So because we, so we see all the news and we're just like, oh, this guy's coming in. So how does it all work? So you get a phone call from someone or? Yeah, yeah. So I just have, I have a manager, um, Wade, and he um, kind of just rung me and told me that um, the dogs were pretty keen. So um, yeah, they, they wanted to have a meeting. So. so it wasn't that dooming phone call from Gus Gould. I wasn't from Gus himself. No. <laughs> Bro, I'll be shooting that. that. Yeah. Was but, the um, meeting with Gus? Yeah, the meeting was. Yeah, okay. the meeting was with Gus. So where, was, do you, where do you take you for coffee? I know he loves his coffee. Oh, he's down at Joe Bills. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Shout out to Joe Bills, man. Joe Shout Bills. out to Joe Bills, <laughs> man. Uh, um, but that <laughs> was only one, only one meeting. Yeah, it was only a meeting. And that, that was pretty cool. I was uh, kind of walked in. I was like, Were wow. you convinced? So, like, so they told you you're going to be playing first grade or was it just like... Oh, no, it wasn't. It wasn't you were playing first grade, but it was um, the opportunity to train full time and stuff. And yeah, I jumped at it. It was, um, yeah. Yeah, as a footy player, you have to look at that, like, seriously, yeah. You can't yeah. just be like, oh, I'm probably going to go there, nothing's going to happen. Yeah, nah. you got to go, like, 100% at it. Yeah, 100%. Like, uh, like I, I wasn't full-time prior, so when I was at the Roosters, I was working full-time. So, okay, so what yeah. we, I've always wanted to ask this question. What were you doing for work? Yes, yeah, so I was working for Australia Post. Wow. Delivering parcels. So, okay. I was working for my old man. He had a, got a contract out there, so I was just uh, working as a sub subcontractor for him. And I was delivering, yeah, delivering mail. I was getting up... Like so was, what's so what's your schedule like? Because yeah, just, people don't understand that you're a normal human being before rugby league or yeah. no one like not everyone's just born straight into state of origin. You know what yeah, I mean? So it was pretty. It was pretty crazy to be honest. I was. I look back now. I go, wow, it's pretty pretty big workload. Like, uh, like I used to used to like get up at five, drive out to the eastern suburbs because I would do gym in the morning for the roosters, and then I'd come back. Um, back over the bridge because I was out Manly Way working. Oh yeah, down there. Yeah, so I'd come back and then work all day and then go back out to the east, eastern suburbs and train in the afternoon field session so you're basically back and forth back and day. forth yeah and then also other days when i didn't have training i had university as well so oh, so you're at uni as well yeah i'm at university what are you well. doing what are you studying uni uh, criminology and criminal justice so. and you're still you're not you're not no i'm still doing oh, you're it, still doing it still doing it part-time now yeah so wow enjoying it it's good it's so good what's part-time like a couple of hours a week or yeah just kind of when i can because i was i'm a failed uni student <laughs> yeah. Yeah, i'm a civil engineer civil engineer yeah, yeah, yeah. i'm now i'm a plumber so that's a tough <laughs> 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 it's a tough degree it's, bro it's one of the toughest and I, and I always thought of it like this because if you don't have a, if you don't have rich parents or you don't have like a job that's going to pay you well in a few days it's very hard to balance both like yeah. going to work and whatnot so you had to work study and try and do the footy thing at yeah. the same time yeah it was definitely it was definitely um, a lot of a lot of commitment I guess we'll that's where the mentality it. comes from on the field huh? you oh, just yes. you can't be broken I just like, <laughs> he's a hard worker he's a hard worker bro. I was working at a pizza shop as well on Sunday nights oh no at way at the same time yeah so it was yeah, pretty busy times but I look back and I Kind of made me, yeah. Fowl's doing and pizza. he's a master chef, bro. He got, is there anything you can't do, bro? <laughs> <laughs> he can do everything, huh? Nah, nah. Yeah, I was, pizza, I, I was in the pizza industry for a bit and it's, yeah. it can get tough, bro. Especially we, you know, we're doing what, nightlies, bro. It's crazy delivery, stuff. Delivery? Delivery? So I did Domino's Pizza Hut and my dad was like, manush. So you probably know manush by now. Yeah, yeah, I, know, yeah. I haven't, so. still haven't had it. What? I know, I know. Bro, <laughs> shame <laughs> on you, Karaz. You haven't taken it. He, he was going to, he was going to. Bro. Who else is Lebo in the team, bro? Kiraz, is that Rav, what we bro? No, that's, Jordan, that's, Jordan, that's, that's two of them. Samrani, bro. shout out to Jordan Samrani as well. Bro, what the hell? What he's doing, bro? What Come he's on, doing, even nah. the residents. I want to kidnap him and take him to half meat, half cheese, bro. I'm disappointed <laughs> in them, man. They said they're going to take me, but we will. We will see. Nah, well, you got to know. We will, bro. <laughs> yeah. Nah, if that, yeah, you just let me know, bro. Nah. You got my number now, so we're all good. Um, so we spoke about your journey. 
And you get to the Bulldogs that first season, it's crazy. Do you expect to like? Do you expect to play that much? Do you expect to be starting every single week? Like, what's yeah. the what's the thoughts behind it? I really like when I got there. I was just grateful to be training full time, and then yeah, just kind of said I'm just going to put all my eggs in one basket and just train hard and try to prove myself. And yeah, first it was just earning the respect of all the other boys and then in the coaching staff. And yeah, I just tried to do that through working hard. And um, then everything kind of just came came from that. And just um, from training hard, I kind of got opportunities to play in the trials and then kind of went pretty like, pretty good in the trials. And then, yeah, got to debut, which was pretty, pretty against, I think your debut was against Manly. And the first game of the season was Manly. Yeah, round yeah. one against Manly. Round one, yeah. yeah. Um, I was going to ask you something and I just went off my head. So, yeah, so when you first walk into the to the changing room, you see all the Bulldogs players. What is that surreal? Is it like yeah, it's, crazy? You're coming from the Roosters as well, so yeah, it's no. a bit of a like, rivalry there. Yeah, no, that honestly is, is so cool. Like thinking, looking back, like when I walked in, I was like like a kid because I've, I've grown up like a footy. So, you like love footy, footy yeah. 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 You, you live and breathe it, man. Literally, like, yeah, it was just it was so cool walking in for the first day. And who's the first person that, hey, press that, why? Who's the, who's, the, who's the guy that... Um, I don't know, what do you call it? Like, right. does the Put induction? Put you under their wing? <laughs> or, uh, Puts you under their wing. Broke the ice? Well, I was lucky because I actually, Harrison, Ed, you know, Harrison Edwards. Harrison Edwards, yeah. Yeah, he was, uh, he was at the Roosters with me a couple of years ago and then uh, he'd already come across the dogs last, the year before. So he was probably the guy that kind of like, made it easy for me to transition because like, I was already pretty good mates with him. Who was the first black to run a muck on you? Like, just to be, just an absolute pest straight away. <laughs> oh, pest. I don't know. There's no real pest. There's no real pest. Like, <laughs> You're lucky Mickey Ennis wasn't there. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> no, that, honestly, all the boys are so like, such good fellas. Like, we all get along so well. And it, you know, no one really gets on my nerves. I'm pretty, I was pretty quiet at the start. I was a bit, bit more reserved, so... I guess yeah, they were all they were good fellas. Is it hard when you're that like when you're to yourself, quiet, like? Oh yeah, but because like, I'm, I, I can imagine like, when, you know, when you're in a room and you don't really know anyone, it's it's a bit nerve wracking. Like, it's like you. your first day of school kind of thing, like at a new school. It's kind yeah, of like and that. everyone's just older. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, but, but once <laughs> once you kind of like train and start to get to know everyone, it just becomes just like a, yeah. And how's Seraldo? Like you first. He, he was there, for, so you 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 got to the team, and he was already the coach, right? It wasn't. Yeah, 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 yeah. it was straight away. So, so first, he, our, both our first. What's first your team. first impression of him? Yeah, he's awesome, mate. He's he's honestly young awesome. as well. He's not really, he's not that old, really. No, he's not that old. Compared he, to the other, all yeah. the other coaches, he's pretty young. Yeah, I remember. I remember actually. So like, I love my forty when I was younger. I remember watching him play. So he's. He had a freakish injury that. Was yeah, that ended yeah. his career? Oh no, yes. I think he had a bad injury at the start of his career. And at the one at the end as well. Yeah, I'm not too sure about the the end, but yeah. Um, but honestly, yeah, he's been so good for me. He's given me so much confidence, and he just backs me. Uh, yeah. He looks like um, he looks like he takes no shit. He looks like his word is his word. You know, yeah. what I mean, he doesn't really like. A lot of the times you see coaches buckle under media pressure, they start saying things that they wouldn't say or lose their head. I feel like he's pretty calm, and I think that's one of the reasons that Bulldogs fans, you know, are sticking by. I know it's a bad season, but they're sticking by him. They like trust him. He's young. You know, it could be like a a story that we see being so successful later on down yeah. the track. But yeah, when I look at him, I'm like, oh, it's probably this guy's serious, man. This yeah. guy means business. No, he is, but then like, yeah, he's also like he looks like, after the family side as yeah, well. Yeah, the man he's, management he's mate, side. Mate, but he's also yeah, serious when he needs to be. But um, yeah, he comes from a successful place and he's implementing those successful systems. Yeah, know, Penrith, man. It's gonna come. It's gonna come off. So but that system they have there is unbelievable. Bro. Doesn't happen overnight, bro. Nah. It takes, nah. it takes a while. And that's what I'm trying to tell because like the fan base is crazy. Every time we put up a video, we talk about the Bulldogs. They're like, you say this every year, one, two, three, and I'm like. It is a pro. It's like it is a process, if you yeah. like I watch I watch a lot of sports, right? <clears throat> and nobody's successful instantly. There's no chance. Yeah. Like you have to be. There has to be like some sort of miracle. So you have to go through what me and Tanaka like to call the rebuild. <laughs> Both our soccer teams. Well, his soccer teams like going for a rebuild. So, support? I'm a Liverpool fan. Liverpool. Okay. He's a United fan. My grandpa's from Liverpool. No, oh, seriously. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. I'm out, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't support. So I don't support. Uh, we've got to get a Liverpool jersey, bro. You got to go for Grant. <laughs> um, toughest opponent. So when you're, mm. who's like that one guy that you looked, it could be toughest or it could be just, probably you're not going to be mesmerised because like we're all mesmerised, mesmerised by you. So, <laughs> no, so who's no, that one guy you're like, oh my goodness, this guy's unbelievable. Yeah, I'll be pressing. <laughs> <laughs> He's a fuck <laughs> <laughs> He's a fuck with. Aretha, what's on the box? Aretha, after a couple of beers. After a couple of beers as well, Aretha, bro. Um, nah, it's, it's like, he come up against pretty good players. Like um, Ponga was pretty good when we first him. Oh my goodness, I was there. Yeah, he's, he's, um, he's, That's my soul. Let's not talk about that, boys. Yeah, Ponga and uh, Nico Hines was good, and it's Sean Johnson as well this year. Like oh, Sean Johnson, he was, he was killing it. When he was he's playing. unbelievable. Eh? Yeah. So. We, we, what they wanted him to retire, Fred? Yeah, that was. 
trying to get him to They were giving him a lot of shit, bro, and he shut them all up pretty he early in the season. Year, didn't he? Yeah. What a redemption to have, bro. Just cut everyone off and just go for it. And especially the, like back in the wilds, bro. It's crazy yeah. what he's done. Yeah. So what you'd say, Johnson, Hines, Ponga. They're probably the ones that stick out. Who's like the toughest? So like, because you're on the edge, so you're this toughest. This black's yeah. running at you. Toughest to tackle. Yeah, toughest to tackle. Probably Nelson. No, oh, big no say. To, to tackle, right? He'll yeah. be the toughest to fight as well, that black, bro. Oh, <laughs> you see his knockout a few <laughs> weeks yeah, ago, bro? Yeah. <laughs> that yeah. knockout was crazy, bro. Yeah. Um, but yeah, even when we watch Nelson, we're like, oh, yeah, just thank so God mean. I don't. Yeah, thank God I'm a plumber, boys. Yeah. I'm, in the, I'm in the right trade for, for this was, kind of stuff. He was angry in that game, bro, because I remember he came off the bench and they were down by a lot. Yeah. Against and us, was it? Against yeah, against us. And when, he, we, when we beat him? I never seen him was so angry in my life, bro. <laughs> I wouldn't want to be on the field right there on that during that moment. I think he scored as well. Yeah. and um yeah trying to fight like you fire him up but yeah nah that was like i was watching that game and i was just glad that i wasn't on the field having yeah. a tackle him <laughs> glad the boy. acls happened eh? yeah, yeah yeah we all have that excuse oh, we what didn't make that? it we all have that excuse oh, we didn't make it rugby league because we got acls, ACLs. <laughs> yeah. everyone has the knee everyone has the knee injury joke bro. <laughs> saves them up um i want to speak to you a bit off footy yep the area you're playing in <laughs> belmore yep i'm lebanese but most of us here are lebanese so it's close to our heart and you know we're very very passionate how was it like going from the eastern so you're so you're in the northern beaches right i'm from the northern beaches and yeah. you're mostly in the eastern suburbs training with the roosters yeah when i was playing for the yeah, and yeah. then you go to belmore yeah is it like a culture shock is it like and you can speak your mind it's fine we don't get upset is it a culture shock is it like what, what what's your first impression i just embrace it to be honest from the get-go like it's so so cool honestly um yeah obviously it's different but no i love it it's honestly so how's cool. the food you haven't, yeah, come on, bro. You haven't had much. You haven't had a lot of yeah, I haven't really tried it. To be come honest, on, man. In all honesty, but um, nah. Like from what I've, the small bits I've experienced is so good. Any yeah. weird fan, fan encounters on the not, street? Not really. No, I wouldn't say weird. They're just just passionate, passionate fans. Passionate. That's in yeah. And that's come on, Presto. We love you, Presto. Yeah, literally, it is. <laughs> take your shirt off, Presto. <laughs> <laughs> but nah, nah, that's what makes the club so special. So. Yeah, because I remember, I, I, I remember in the grand final, twenty twelve. This is how crazy Bill is, right? I went to the went to the Bulldogs Melbourne game. We lost, right? And after it, we're like, "What do you do?" Because like you lost, you know. You go home, you eat, and just cry yourself to sleep. Yeah. Everyone's like, "Nah, fuck, we're going back to Belmore." Belmore, yeah. I'm like, "Bro, why are we going back to Belmore? Like, it feels weird." They're like, "Nah, it doesn't matter if we lost. We made it to a grand final." Yeah. And the cars were out there. The burnouts are happening. Everyone's drumming, and the streets are closed. I'm like, "I oh, fuck, I love this club, bro." Have you, like, have you seen the 04 footage on YouTube? Oh, that's insane, bro. That is crazy. When they went back on the bus yeah. and everyone's on the oh, have you bro. Seen it? Yeah, yeah, I've seen it. I we've, I think we've watched it a million times. Every time we're heartbroken, we go back and just watch, it. <laughs> watch yeah. All yeah. of the stuff. Especially the Bulldogs before that had a very bad. Um, there was a lot of bad news about them, and one I don't yeah. want to get into it, but yeah. to go from that to that, yeah. Bulldog mentality for me. That's that's right. one reason why I, like the club is so so close to my heart. Yeah. 100%. Um, let's get into some of the some of the big boys. The big boys. The big right. boys. Fred, do you got any questions for him with the big boys? I don't even know what you mean. The Gus Gould, bro. <laughs> all, right, all right, I'm just making sure. <laughs> Uncle Gus, bro. What's up, bro? I was, we got to show, show him the Gus Gould video first, right? This is the reason why I want to talk about this, oh. because the, we did the origin. You're, you're a New South Wales boy, yeah? So yeah, yeah. Origin, New South Wales. Fruit, all right, fruit, fruit, fruit. We, made a, we made a mad video. We'll show you after, actually. Yeah. But um, the way Gus Gould is Jesus us up for origin. Yeah. And like, that's all we know. So growing up, we're watching him in origin How doing that. It? How good is it? Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, bro, I want to run through the jib rock in the backyard, yeah. bro. Yeah. <laughs> I got insane cuss. <laughs> <laughs> and then I remember I'm just a plumber. So, yeah. um, but watching him on the TV and watching him speak about footy, he's so, he's got so much knowledge. Um, he can handle pressure so, so well. What's like, how is he with you? So like, the, he pops in, I know he doesn't, he's not there every single yeah. day. He's not coaching you. A lot of people say he coaches the Bulldogs. It's like, Obviously, just to throw dirt on him. But how is he? I want to know your impressions of him because he's a scary man, you know? And, and yeah. you're pretty young, so you, you, you probably feel how we feel when we, we used to watch him on TV. Yeah, he's like someone you've always kind of looked up to, feel good. He's, um, it's pretty cool to kind of get to know him. But um, yeah, he's like, you only see him around a little bit, but when he's, whenever he comes in, you just have a chat and say go to him. And, and a few cool. words, or he can, he can have a chat. No, he can have a chat. He loves Ayana. Yeah, no? uh, yeah well, he can have a chat, yeah. He's, Good guy to talk to, so. <laughs> bro, I can just imagine sitting with him. I can't imagine. I actually can't imagine sitting with him. I think I'd buckle, bro. Oh, well, I'd buckle, bro. I'd talk to him for hours. Yeah, if you, yeah, you to, bro. would. <laughs> <laughs> but no, he's, yeah, he's good. good and good what? Guy. So, so he comes into training. What? How? What's his uh, schedule like with the Bulldogs? Oh, it's, I couldn't really tell you. It's very rare. Like he yeah. pops in. It's not really like he's around. He's around the area off, like a lot, but um, like not. Not, doesn't come in. And there. he's very close with the younger, like with the with the youth academy. He does lot, yeah, he does. He runs the the whole thing. So, uh, like the pathways and stuff. 
Yeah, I, I, I can't because he's got an eye for talent, you know. Especially with um, Oluwapu, he went and grabbed Oluwapu yeah. from Brisbane. So I'm, I'm, I'm just we love Gus Gould so much, and a lot of people try to bring him down. So I, I just wanted to know how he, how he would be in real life. No, he's and I remember him resharing that video. I'll show you after. He reshared the video and he's like, "Great job, boys, well done." And I'm like, "Bro, you want to come on the couch?" <laughs> and have a few words. <laughs> no, he's, he's, he's very cool. He's a legend. Yeah. Um, Josh Reynolds. Josh Reynolds, the man. Let's speak about Josh Reynolds because, yeah. um. Belmore farewell, not the first, not this one, the first one. You were there. I never made it. I never got there. But Josh Reynolds as a player for us was someone like a hero, bro. You know, people talk about the the talent and this guy and that guy, and you just look at Josh and you're like, this guy has pretty much everything in one, but his heart is the thing that stands out the most to everyone. Yeah. You know, to have him in the locker room this season, like, what's he like? What's he What's he do? And I've had a few. I've had a, I've had a chat with him actually, trying to bring him on as well. Have a few conversations with him. Um, but what's he like? So yeah. I know he's a pest to other people. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, he's, he's he's one of the best blokes. One of the best blokes I've met. He's, um, to have him around the squad this year was pretty special. Um, I grew up watching Grub as well. Remember yeah, he's, he's, 2014 when they when New South Wales won the... New South Wales? Yeah, yeah I always tell him and Hodgkin, I always say, like, well, yous yeah. were the blokes that broke this streak. Like yeah. this long... Oh, this curse that hurts all of us yeah. New South Wales fans. These are the blokes who broke it. Broke it, 100%. And, he's, and I'm like, you don't get enough credit for that. Yeah, and, and then... Um, but yeah, to be able to get the chance to also like try, not just train with him, but then play with him as well on the on the field, like it's pretty crazy. Look, like looking back at it, so. especially at this age, he so he obviously he retired. In training, did he start to feel it? Like he started to like. Oh yeah, I'm not too sure. Because you get sure. you get old and you start to feel it on the body and yeah, stuff. It's just, yeah, I'm not too sure, but like it was just so good having him around. And like, when you watch him in games, as well, <laughs> he he's like young. He's trying to like yeah. do everything, go yeah. crazy, go insane. That's why. That's probably why the fans love him. He just wore his heart on his sleeve. Yeah, and I'm I'm actually happy that I got to experience his second proper like the last farewell really. Yeah. You mean you were there? Yeah, he really deserved like we really deserved like a proper send off and it At was Belmore. Yeah, and we we're just glad to be able to like give him a proper farewell. Hundred percent. Um the t the squad generally was pretty young. I think there's only a couple guys over the age of thirty. Um the dogs had a lot of formal players part of the, the training stuff and stuff. Do you feel like they gave you a lot of insight and a lot of Sort of guidance. Yeah. So, as such a young player. Yeah, we're lucky. We're, I'm very lucky personally having I'll be like playing as a back rower. I've got Willie Mason, uh, Josh Jackson, uh, Andrew Ryan, Bob Cat. I could like spoil for choice there, and uh, um, they they all do so. That's so much for all of us players. But um, yeah, when I need when you need like you questioning someone you're doing or need advice, you can just go to them, and they all have their own roles within the club. But to um, be able to learn off them, it's pretty cool. That's mad. Yeah. I was like, bro, he's literally, oh, he's actually spoiled for choice when it comes to <laughs> like role models, eh? Actually, yeah. And like, you, like, and Mark O'Mealy's there as well. Yeah. It's oh, Oga. Good old yeah, Oga. Yeah. Are they around a lot? Like, like. Yeah, yeah, a lot, yeah. Willie Mason as well. Yeah. Willie Mason, love, oh, I love Willie Mason. He just, but when I watch his podcast, I'm like, bro, this guy, <laughs> he yeah. needs to get on, you got to get him on a footy field ASAP, bro. <laughs> he's still got it. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, let's speak about some teammates. That we have currently in the team. Yep. Um, who's your favourite teammate? This one's going to be a bit oh, of a. I don't know. I don't know. You can pick more than one, so we don't get we don't get yeah, in trouble all, with the boys. I'll just say I love all the boys. So I you can't pick one or two. <laughs> full one or credit, two. Come bro. on, bro. Full <laughs> credit. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> sorry, bro. All the boys. <laughs> <laughs> don't make him pick favourites, no. bro. No, no. I want to hear one or two. Like, who's your um, who's the close? Your like the close? Oh, obviously the one you're closest with. Obviously Harry Edwards. Yeah. Um, coming from the Roosters. Um, Curtis Moran. Oh, I love Curtis. Yeah, Moz. Um, got got pretty close with Toby Sexton as well since he's come. Oh, the sex we yeah. love him. Yeah. I love him, bro. But honestly, all the boys like pretty pretty close group. Uh, Karaz, we've been, we've been in rehab. How's Berto? Berto's a great might try and make you catch those those bombs, bro. Oh no, I'm not standing. <laughs> <laughs> That's not my job. Hey, Presto, catch it! You're like, I'm out, bro. Yeah, they're crazy. Oh, that sorry? Like, does he hit a lot of those? Yeah, it's and, crazy. Like, he was on the end of them. Yeah. Oh, whoever wants to put him. <laughs> <laughs> Whoever's still there, really. Yeah. But um, no, nah, it's crazy. His, his ability to keep the ball is crazy. But he's insane. But I, I could just, I just imagined him like telling you after training, "Hey, press that," and you're like, yeah. "Bro, I'm out, bro. Leave me alone. <laughs> yeah. Get me out of it." But to answer the question, like literally, oh, we, the whole group's real tight. Like we all get along pretty well. Yeah, so. especially the the culture. Like everyone's from a different culture. I seen the, the start of the season. The Bulldogs done like a cultural thing where they. Everyone was teaching each other about, you know, I know we had kick out with the Fiji stuff. I know we had Kiraz with the Lebanese stuff, the, Aus the Aussie boys. Yeah. It's just, it's just good to see because I think that's what Belmore's about, man. Yeah, 100%. Like everyone like combining, everyone doing their thing, everyone eating each other's foods, learning yeah. um, how everyone speaks. I just think, yeah, um, 
Your, so your favourites were you got Morin. You got. So I, I, I gotta say all the boys really. All the literally all the boys. So uh, I'm gonna yeah. ask you a question now. Who's yeah. the pest? The pest. <laughs> it's the hard one now. I, I, yeah. Me and Haz were talking about it yesterday, and we we, we said J- Jaden Tanner, but Ooh. only because he's like close, like real. We're real close. Oh to yeah, him, yeah. But it's he, that mate that, 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 that can take you that extra yeah, step. That extra step. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I can see this. <laughs> he, can, he can push you that. He can push your buttons. I love him. I love yeah, him. You love him. <laughs> <laughs> But there again, I probably push his buttons as well. Who so else? Anyone? Anyone else in the team? No, has a laugh. Not really. And it like heaps of energy. Fox has got heaps of energy. Oh, Fox would be. But crazy. I wouldn't say he's a pest. I say he's, he's heaps good. He's just loud. Like, ah, yeah. just everyone grounding the boys but, up. Yeah. He's but the prankster, cool. I reckon. Like, yeah, but it's good. I enjoy enjoy that around it. He side. loves he loves a bit of old school music as well. You always see him on Instagram cranking his music and just he's a man. yeah, bro, he's going crazy. <laughs> but, <laughs> but yeah, no, I wouldn't say this one. As a rookie, so no one really gave you a hard time. Like I know in other other sports, it's like tradition. They NBA, give the, bro. Yeah, especially NBA. Like they make the rookies take the yeah. their suitcases everywhere. Yeah, go get them donuts. Like hey, no, no one ever. Restaurant. No one made you do any of that stuff. No, no, not really. No, no. that was good. You had an easy. Yeah, it was pretty easy. Yeah, yeah, maybe because like, you were so good, bro. Ah, <laughs> nah, nah, nah. The shining light. No one wanted to touch over. Nah, like, oh, boys, like the best player in the team. Nah, <laughs> nah, nah. 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 nah, I was yeah, very lucky. Very lucky. Yeah. Um, Pesto, any goals for the season coming up? Like goals, as in like you, you want to score this many tries. You're, you're, I know everyone wants to go to the grand final. That's yeah. what we really want. Yeah. Um, or top eight or whatever it is. Finals, finals, footy. Any like goals, personal goals in in rugby league for the Bulldogs? For me, it's just to keep continuing and to perfect my craft. Oh, you can never get perfect, but continuing to improve my craft and just working on my game. I know there's so many areas and little aspects I can improve on. What do you think you can improve? Like what's because we, oh, we're you're yeah. flawless, stuff. So like, nah, <laughs> nah, it's definitely not flawless. Um, there's heaps of stuff, both defensively and in attack. Uh, and then obviously, I'll be going for me just communicate communication, improving that. Um, yeah, and yeah, it's just something that just will come with. Just continuing to work on it. I think so. yeah, I'll see you in a few years as a leader. Oh, thank you. But I, I want to ask you about this leadership stuff. Any who's like the leaders in the team? Because we we see the co-captains. Like we know it's Reed, Reed yeah. Marnie, and Burdo. Um, and we had Josh Jackson leave last year. who was like massive leader for us. Yeah. Who's like that? Who's like those leaders in in the actual change room? Yeah, it would be uh, Ray Reed, Burdo, Kicks. Um, Kicks will be massive as well. Yeah, eh? massive, especially for me as a back row. He's, he's helped, helped me so much. But I couldn't wait. We couldn't wait for him to come back and yeah. see he's both on the actual, you know, yeah. opposite sides. And then obviously Foxy and um, Maxi King as well. They're kind of the kind of the leadership group that was named. They're the, they're the leaders, yeah. And yeah, it's pretty pretty. Reedy, good. Reedy, yeah. We got Birdo. Yeah, we got we got a and they're pretty young side, bro. Like you got to yeah. think about it. Pretty young. You know, I think they'll all grow within themselves. They'll actually see, you know, the future. And I I personally think you're up there. And I want to see you. I'm going to tell you this straight to your face. Yeah. Me and him actually said it. Give him a run at Origin, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Is that a goal? Like, is that obviously it's a goal? But do you see it happening within the next year or two? Or oh, man, do you have that it. target in your head? Yeah, for me, it's just perfecting, like improving my game at the Bulldogs, and then whatever happens from there happens. But yeah, I just want to be playing good footy for the dogs first, first and foremost. I can so see you in Origin, eh? Yeah, yeah he's got that. He's got that mold, that, mate. That he's cut mold. from that cloth, bro. Oh, <laughs> so Fred actually wants to ask you about your mullet. Yeah, the mullet, yeah, yeah. <laughs> have you all, have you, bro, have you always had it? Like, have nah. you always had that hair or is this something you you, you did recently? Are you going to keep it? Like, what are the plans? Yeah, I'm, I'm not too sure. My, my missus hates it, but like, I'm not sure whether I'll get rid of it. Um, maybe that, maybe that's why we keep things with yeah. the missus hates it. You, keep it, you kind of try to get on that, that bad side a bit. Um, but yeah, t- uh, I kind of had it. I've always had like long and then sh- cut it short and then... Can you bring this back, bro? <laughs> oh, can we see that? Oh. <laughs> He's trying to put you on the spot, eh? The JB haircut. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I've got like, some like long and then get it short, but uh, I got a mullet in, like two years ago and then... Trademark. So, yeah, I, I got rid trademark of, now. But I got rid of it and I was like, so like... Do you yeah, feel so, naked? So, yeah, yeah, literally. And then <laughs> the mullet boys. I was like, I'm going it back, and yeah, so I grew it back. Yeah, and then Miss, I started to hate on today. Yeah, no. she doesn't like it's it. It's always the woman, eh? They yeah. always hate on us, yeah. man. They don't let us yeah, man, We love it, bro. We don't want to get. We don't want you to get rid nah, of it. It's thanks. iconic at this point, pretty <laughs> much, bro. Um, I wanted to know: is you know, is second row or back row your preferred position, or is there someone else uh, somewhere else that you want to play? And is it true that you you in the house growing up? Yeah, so I was. I was in the house when I grew up. I was uh, Howard Matz, so I was a five eight. But then I uh, kind of got injured and put on a lot of a bit of weight. So, um, but I, yeah, I transitioned into like a lock second row and um, played my first year of flag at lock, and then kind of moved into the back row and then stayed there ever since. But um, now I'm really happy in the back row. So, 
kind of enjoy it. So I'm happy there. So that would be your, that's your favorite. You prefer to play there all the time. Yeah, I'm happy. I'm, oh. Were you like was it, was it different to go from half to that position? Like oh yeah, yeah it was. But I was kind of I experienced an injury at the time, so I was kind of out of the game. How old were you when you? Sorry, I was 16. So mm. that was how Matts was 16s at the time. They're and still then, developing. Yeah, well. still developing. So I played how Matts at five eight, but then kind of had an injury. I was out for a year, year and a half, two years, and then came back and um, was a bit too. Because to I can't imagine, like, so if I played footy, right, I yeah. probably want to play in the halves. Yeah, you know what I mean. And then I can't imagine myself going from half to like <laughs> yeah. on the edge where you're getting just everyone's just yeah. in your face. It's just rough as it gets. Initially, it was it was different, <laughs> but I got used to it. And yeah, um, I I've got it. a question for you. Who's the, who's like your meant like rugby league icon? Growing up, who'd you watch? Who's your favourite? It's Sonny, a tough, tough question. Sonny Bill Williams. Was oh, good old Sonny Bill. Where is yeah. he? Somewhere down the hall. Yeah, Sonny Bill. Sonny, Sonny Bill. Bill. Yeah. Any any other players? Any other positions that you fr- just like? Oh, this guy. I used guy's to love watching Boyd Cordner as a back rower. Yeah, I was Boyd just telling Cordner. you, we seen him in. I seen yeah. him the boxing, and he's like, oh, bro, he's a unit. Eh? Josh Jackson was pretty. Yeah. Was a good Josh player. Jackson as well. Yeah. Every, like, Ever since I was playing back row, those are the guys I kind of watched. That's who you look up to. You look at them really, try to perfect your game around them yeah, and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but I can't imagine playing that. Boys, I can't. This is tough for me if I went there. You were, what, what, what position were you playing when you were playing footy? Bro, well, I started, well, I was like wing until, I was skinny as, I was a wing <laughs> until under 10. And then, and then I didn't play for a year. I got, I got really, I got I put on a bit of weight and then I ended up playing in the forwards the rest of yeah, the that's Rest of my life, and then my year twelve came around, and I hung up the boots. Yeah, also stepped on the court instead, and playing basketball. Um, yeah, yeah, mad, mad. Yeah, so just love my sport. Always got to be around yeah. it. Um, you said you had an injury in Harold Matt's under sixteens. How did that sort of what injury was, it and how did that change your career to help you get to where you are now? Or that was that a major turning point in your career? Yeah, I'd say say it, um maybe learn hard work i guess um kind of broke my leg pretty badly both both bones tib and fib so Poof. um yeah did that and then there was kind of a 12 month recovery and during that time i was working working hard um i was lucky i had a really supportive family kind of helped me out and um yeah good got physio and all that done and um from there i kind of came back and played school footy but then as soon as like, like two games back i re-snapped my leg like again Ooh. so yeah, so it was, ended up being a two-year process getting back. So, um, but to be honest, it kind of made me <coughs> love the game even more because I was uh, just missing it. Um, yeah, so from there I was just like, kind of, that's what I want, and just, just worked hard towards it. Does it play on your mind mentally when you're out of? Uh, we just watched the Volk fight. I don't know, you seen him lose, and he just had a like after the game in the press conference, he just broke down. Yeah, and he, you you don't like. People don't look at athletes as humans. People look at them as like they're unbelievable. Like they're just superhuman. They never get hurt. They don't have feelings. You know, like when you're injured and you're away for so long, like is it, do you lose your mind a bit? Is it like? Yeah. Um, I think it. I think it was the age. Like that. That, that age is kind of when you either try and try and become like a professional athlete, or you go off the other kind of direction. Fear and, off, yeah. Um, like turn to party, partying, and that kind of that's kind of seen. But um, that's probably the hardest thing. Like kind of like enjoying myself with my mates but then also I kind of had to choose which which side I would take is um, it hard to choose because we're young and you're having fun and yeah it, it everyone's was going out yeah but I, I don't know it's, I just loved I just loved rugby league yeah, <laughs> yeah so it's just the direction I, I mean took. it's done you will so it's no, going to continue you made the right decision right? you made the you right think. decision yeah. and we know a lot of people that went the other way and then you're yeah. like there's oh, nothing nothing what could have been you know that, but like yeah no, why is Tanaka aiming at you? It's not you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, me? <laughs> I was 18th man. <laughs> 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 oh, man. Where'd you play? Huh? Where'd you play at? Uh, played, uh, bro, I didn't even make it to a rep. I didn't even make it to SG, Blair Green. I played for Uncle Scott's growing up. Okay. Nice. Yeah, so yeah. I was there for my junior footy and then I played my junior footy at Cogra Mars. Okay, man. So nice. that's where Reynolds went. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, he was there for a couple of years and he was held up like, yeah. like that at our school. Yeah. Before. Yeah, yeah it would have been iconic, Duffy, bro. Yeah. Bloody yeah, grub. Duff, yeah. okay. Yeah. Um, I got some quick fire questions for you. Yep. Just quick stuff, just off, a bit of bit of footy, bit of off footy. Um, or well, had a you ruined it because I was gonna ask you if you're single. <laughs> yeah, and you're not single. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> I had a, me and my partner been together for six years. So. Oh wow. Well. Yeah, kind That's of a unbelievable. Thing. Bro. <laughs> bro, look at him. It shouldn't even be a question, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I really, I was trying to get the you know yeah, rizzy. Yeah. I was trying to rizzy him up. I was trying to hook you up one of his cousins, bro. That's really what. 
Hey, never that gun. <laughs> never that gun, bro. <laughs> oh, I didn't break from that one, bro. Hey, I'm a reefer. Bro, bachelor, bachelor. <laughs> It's gonna be like Bachelor, bro. Give him his, give him a, show him, bro. <laughs> get him. Just, can you imagine him on Bachelor? That'll be. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, favorite NRL player. I've already asked you that. If you want to ask me, answer it again. Yeah, I'll, favorite all time. Yeah, I probably go. I'll go with Boyd Corner. I'll go. Yeah, Boyd Corner. Yeah. Favorite food or go to like. Yeah, favorite food. I like chick, um, chicken schnitzel. Ooh, that's that'd be my yeah. Get a few on the Barbie lad. Yeah. Favorite <laughs> sports outside of NRL. Um, don't mind a bit of AFL, like and surfing, surfing school as well. Enjoy so you know NBA, you know fo- you don't really watch. Football. Yeah, I'm not really into the American sports scene. Yeah, uh, too much timeouts, eh? Too yeah, much I can't ads. handle it, bro. Yeah, but um, too much ads, too much timeouts. Yeah, I don't really find my, find a time to be able to watch it. Either. Like, yeah, I know Grub's a big uh, NFL. Grub, Grub loves well, it. Yeah, he, he loves, loves the it. NFL. Yeah, a lot of the boys do, but I, yeah, I just not really, Hard never really got up. into it. Yeah. Favorite music and music artist. Um, uh, I'm pretty all over the place. I love rap. Country, you're pop. like me. Oh yeah, I'm I'm everywhere. Um, so narrow it down, it's pretty hard. But uh, oh, let's go rapper and then like okay, I'll go rapper. It would be Eminem. I enjoy Eminem. Nice. Um, yeah, he's happy. Yeah, he loves it. <laughs> the music engineer's <laughs> happy. <laughs> 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 well, a whole season he never even did that. He never a did that. Se- a whole season he did not do that. <laughs> it's a press to come here and say Eminem <laughs> for the man to stand up. <laughs> Just, I'll take that. <laughs> um, Country music like Zach Brown Band, stuff like that. Nice. I enjoy that. Yeah. Um, dream holiday destination. Ooh. I just got back from Thailand. That was pretty yeah, cool. Yeah, how was it? Yeah, it was mad. Like um, First time there? It was my second time, but I went with like a good crew, so it was yeah, good fun. But um I do want to get over to Europe. Um Greece. Greece is probably the one I'm gonna get no, to. That place is deadly, man. Yeah. That place is as yeah. Uh, let's not talk about Greece. Have you been there? Yeah. 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 yeah it's worth going. Bro. Yeah. Um yeah, it's it's just very party central. I think oh, if you do party. things. It uh, depends you how you are, really. Yeah, you yeah, yeah, yeah. I, where I went was Party Central. Party Central, okay. I went to Mykonos, then Beirut. So, okay. chill, party, whatever. Yeah. Um, summer, winter, what's your preference? Winter because of footy. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Not summer, you don't love the beaches, I, I love the, the beaches in summer, but I love winter because of footy. Yeah, okay, yeah. I get that. Yeah. And um, the last one, greatest film and greatest series. Greatest film would be probably Shawshank Redemption. Yeah. Good answer. Yeah. Respect, oh, Good bro. answer. Yeah. Yeah, great. The next one's big. Double fun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's giving you the... <laughs> Made it here. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's going to get a jersey with your name on the back. Yeah. <laughs> um, great. So Sean Shank and then you got series. What's your favourite series? I loved Prison Break when I watched, when I watched it. Um, but I'm, I'm into Blacklist at the moment. Yeah, um, sure. yeah. Sure. Yeah. Prison Break's too long, eh? It kind of dragged on. I bro, like the first couple seasons. It's like every time the guy gets out, someone farts and then he has to go back <laughs> yeah, in. Yeah. I'm like, bro, are you serious, bro? No, so that was the first one or two seasons, but then yeah, I didn't watch it. It enough, drags man. on. And what's, I've never watched Blacklist. Blacklist is pretty oh, cool. Pretty good, bro. Yeah. Doesn't that drag on as well? It does drag on. I've only watched the four, oh, yeah. first. Bro. Any other good shows? Any other Peaky Blinders? I've, I've watched Peaky Blinders. The Sopranos <laughs> is a big one. I haven't seen that. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. if, oh, When you're finished with whatever you're watching now, that's one you got to yeah. put on the list, bro. Yeah, no, nah, I will. I will. I, it's, oh, bro. It's like, what is it? The, the, the Sopranos. The Sopranos. Okay. The Sopranos. It's like, it's like Italian a mafia. Okay, I'll check but it it's out. Just, it's, it's mad. It's, yeah. it's mad. one of the best. Uh, for me, greatest of all time. Yeah. Um, uh, a few things before we wrap it up. Yep. We want to chill a bit, have a, you know, kick back a little bit. A message to the Bulldogs fans. Yeah, no, just stick with us. It's, you know, the only the only way we're going to go up, there's success coming. We're just working hard, and I can't wait for it to come. It's going to be good. I can't wait. We're jaded up, bro. I'm getting my membership next year. Yeah. I was going to get it this year, and then I'm like, mm, and then that's it. Presto said I got to get it. Let's see, cause <laughs> yeah. We're locking get in, boys. Us. We're get locking in. <laughs> and um, I want you to call out a guest for us from the Bulldogs team to pop up. Listen, Fox. We had this conversation about Fox, <laughs> right? Fox, Kiraz. Yeah, I say Kiraz. Jagger Kraz. Yeah, oh, that's sweet. And shout out to Jordan Samrani as well. Yeah, Samrani. We're very, very, I'm very great, close to his fella. uncle. Great fellow, yeah. Uh, Jace. Get them on together. Get get Kraz and Samrani on together. Hey, that'll be a good one, eh? Yeah. Oh, right, Birdo? Yeah, I love Birdo. Oh, I love Birdo oh, too. <laughs> he's the man. Yeah, bro, he's he's a legend. I can't he just wait. He became a dad as well. Just, yeah. What is it? He just, he just had his first child. Oh, did he? Yeah. Oh, congrats. Yeah. Congratulations. Congratulations. Congratulations, Birdo. Couple months mate, ago. listen, mate. You're gonna have a time. You're gonna have a season of your life now, man. I'm, yeah. I can see it. I can feel it. Yeah. All right, boys. That's a wrap up. Anything we want to talk about? Anything we want to do? We're gonna hang out, eat some snorkels. Please don't wear a headgear. <laughs> 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 I'm just saying this now because 
bro, the, bro <laughs> the, half of the team just started wearing headgears, bro, and it bro, became so game, hard. To, bro, there was that one game where there everyone was, like, was in a white headgears. one, bro. I'm like, like, bro, what's going on, bro? Yeah, yeah, so I'm like, bro, I need to know where this bloke is at, was at all times when I'm on the field. When, I, when I'm it was on the, the, it was the gold locks before, right? Yeah, floating around. But I'm all the way at the top against power. You can just see where wherever Preston is. <laughs> if he wore a headgear, it'd be real hard. Yeah, right? no, I, don't, I wore one in under eights when I, my first ever game, and I haven't worn one since. It was just way too hot. I you started in under eights? Yeah, I started under eights. That's too. pretty late. I, yeah. I, I remember what? A lot of... I don't, you don't imagine NRL players just starting in under eights. Is there a reason why? Were your parents too scared to put you in? Or? Oh, not necessarily. I just I played soccer the first what, three years. So I uh, played soccer and then, um, yeah, it's under eights. It was, it was time to... That Saudi money place. would have been good now, eh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, Brother, anybody getting caught? Oh, no, I was no good at soccer, mate. Would, yeah, but, um, yeah, so I just moved across when I was in the eights. Um, probably because of friends and stuff. And obviously my old man and... Loved rugby league, so yeah. Wait, who's the uh, last question? Who's the who's the family support? I know it's probably Bulldogs now, but who was oh, it they're, for? They're staunch Bulldog supporters now, literally. They yeah, love they it. can't move. Yeah, they, they love it. Um, dad was from the Northern Beaches. Dad was manly, manly fan. Understandable. But now he, he's turned just dog, like, just. So dog. the first game would have been hard for him, eh? First game nah, of the season. He, no, no. As soon as, <laughs> as, soon, as soon as I was at the dogs, it was all dogs. Like, <laughs> oh, we like, gotta respect the man, yeah. bro. Um, but that's yeah. And then my grandma's side and my mum's side. Uh, my great my great granddad was actually um, the president at, of a lease of the Bulldogs Leagues Club oh, way seriously? back in the day. So they were all, like, that was the kind of Bulldogs supporters. So have some sort of connection with the Bulldogs yeah. from before, but yeah, unbelievable, man. Well, yeah, have manly to Bulldogs. Now we got the man here. We're gonna enjoy some snood. We're gonna chill out, relax. Um, thank you all for tuning in. I love you all. Preston loves you as well. He can let he can tell you. So I, I, yeah, I'm nah. <laughs> love you all. <laughs> <laughs> Take it easy and stay tuned. We love you all. Nah, thanks for having me on, guys. Cheers.